Madeline a break, guys. Come on. Give me a freaking break. Do you like uh, my new bit of uh, like calling like random Fox players Republicans? Yeah, I do. Who's, do who's your next target? Well, I did left it today. I saw. Who should I do next? I've done I saw Cody, you, I've done you're Bogey. basically you're saying that Levin's like a, a sleeper agent for Donald Trump. Yeah. That was, yeah, that I don't know. sounds like Peter Griffin. <laughs> yeah, he's from Rhode Island. Yeah, yeah. Which is not like a Republican state, by no, the way. It's not, oh, I know it's not, but I, I needed an excuse to say that he sounds like Peter Griffin. Yeah. You know? Uh, you could, I mean, Pipsqueak is the most obvious one. Yeah, Pipsqueak would be a really good one. Yeah, why does it say tapers? Really? Yeah, it's a cool shirt. Los Angeles tapers. Madeline is also a Republican. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is not. Yeah, I really, I, I'm, I, I, I'm having a really fun time with this bit of claiming that melee personalities are Republican for n with no actual. The Inference Regional isn't a tournament. It's just a, like a. Republican campaign event. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. You have to pay fifteen thousand dollars to get in. All funding. Goes yeah, to super the packs only. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Dragon Stadium. Interesting. Yeah. I have mixed feelings about the stage in Sheik Puff. Because I think the, the the space is really good Oof. for Sheik. Oh, that's unfortunate. Can't and you can like catch one. landings, and the side platforms are good. But at the same time, the no top platform and it being more flat just didn't benefit Puff generally. Yeah. Look at Fable there. go. Yeah, look at look at him shooting needles and Duncan grabbing the ledge. No. Down throw up air? No. Could he just not get it with that DI? Maybe it's it's really hard to tell there. Um because you, you you're worried about them landing on the side platform. But down throw up air is like the, the kill there. Yeah. But it's hard on DI out. This is always a thing with Duncan and the other player where they like start out fighting each other a lot but then it ends on them not playing against each other at all mm -hmm. you know it's really funny how it starts like that because like i see a lot of hbox sets and it starts out like they are aggressively campering each other mm -hmm. you know yeah i agree grab ledge barely didn't get the refresh well not really barely but did not get the refresh Got almost the off the top oh. Makes it back. Drill grab. Throw. Grab ledge again. Yep. Puff's edge guard game on Sheik is pretty gnarly. Yeah, it is. Unless you don't roll up at the right time. Yeah, I think she probably has one of the best edge guards in the game against Sheik. It's probably top three at least. Who has the best? Might be Falcon. Oh, really? What? Just knee? Yeah, because knee. like, if you ever get her to up B. You just can kill her like yeah. immediately. Yeah. You don't really have to rinse or repeat at all. You just get a reverse knee and she dies. Whereas like Fox can do like ledge dash smash, but it's like the the risk within the the tech skill requirement is is just so much yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. This is back and forth. Mm -hmm. A A F AF. AF indeed. Oh, and and before the best. Uh, she catch guard was was pre wobbling ice climber it was pre wobbling ban ice climbers. Oh my god! You just get up right. and grab. You just get up and grab them when they're dead. Gosh, that matchup was even worse. Yeah. It was so much worse. It was back basically then. like you got a rest, but there was literally no like consequences for it. Yeah, man, that is insane. I am so glad we banned wobbling. Like, oh my yeah. Gosh. Well. Yeah. Now Slug is tech chasing people, and. He's doing things that I thought about Ice Climbers doing for a long time, but there was no, never, never a reason to do them. No, literally none. Literally none. Up air. Nice. Okay, good stuff to Fable. Starting out with like a, his, first, his first lead of the set. It's the first game. Yeah. But, you know. It's working out, though. Could be on the forward air. Duncan, but... Uh, you don't want to take all this damage. Yeah, quick 40% by Fable. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's it. Honestly, there, like, when you're, like, 
almost confirmed probably going to die. It feels so good to just hit buff with one more thing before you before you die. Like mm -hmm. if you trade that when when Fable traded that Nair, because like she you know if you can get her to a juicy kill percent, it's just so awesome. Yeah, it is. You know what character is really not that good at edge guarding Sheik? Hmm. Sheik. Yeah, 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 definitely. Marth isn't that great at it. Yeah, Marth's not great at it either. I just Sheik is funny because she's generally good at edge guarding a lot of yeah, people. Yeah, but not herself. But she can't really doesn't really have like a rinse and repeat Ooh. kill you move. Dude, I'm so glad I'm not a Sheik main for this matchup. Because that, that looked tilting to, to have happen to you, you know? Agreed. You play such a long game, and then it's just like, you know, that one rest. Yeah, you get down beat. Oh. Yeah, the desperation pound. Every puff has a timer in their head, and if it hits zero, they're required to pound. Yeah, there's literally a clip of... Zane saying HBox is gonna pound right now, and he does it exactly at the time that he says it's going yep. to. It's like actually wild. Every puff does it whether they're doesn't matter how good they are. No. I kind of like how every fox nears in the corner. Yep. We all have our it's little a requirement. Thing. Every falcon yeah. will raptor boost eventually. Yep. Except for Wizrog. Yeah. Man, falcons love the raptor boost. Yeah, they do. It's it's fun to hit, but just like a actually a bad move though. Yeah. That's one of the Wizro never breaks his game plan, and that's a valuable valuable skill. It really is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wizzy is just so good at what he's good at. It's a really impressive skill too. Oh, good fair. Yeah. Yeah, Duncan just goes out there. It's a... Again, the classic old-school SJ fadeaway nair. Oh, goes for, like, the tomahawk there to try to bait the jump, but people just anti it with the portal, which is really smart. Ooh. Oh, good counter hit by Fable. Wait. Oh, the shield drop fair. That was good. That was oh, pound from ledge. Nice bear. Up B... Again, a pound from, yeah. not from the ledge, but Up from there. around the ledge. Go for another pound. I missed, I'm so sad. That was a really awesome combination. Yeah, it was. Back air. Back air, back air, back air, back air. I remember when uh, HBox hit that on Zane at that one tournament. Yeah, and that was it awesome. The back air, and then goes... Yeah, Blank yeah. King Blank! This was literally the funniest yeah, pop pop just... ever. Just didn't even fist bump him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it was just too funny. It was literally too funny, yeah. Uh, oh, all these, yeah. Like, that was good damage for Fable. Didn't really get punished for it that hard. And Light Chill on the platform, like, looking like Bob. Yep. Barely doesn't reach with that back air. Fable gets out. Ooh, very well timed shield drop. Almost got poked with a down air. Could have been a down air up air, maybe. Oh, good fair. That's probably the stock, right? I like that back air. But yeah, the back air rear grab is really cool. Is yeah. really good there. Yeah, it's like, it's it's the. It's Galindi. like the fox. Yeah, the the, the fox one, but except a hundred times easier. Yeah, yeah. It's like almost impossible to mess that one up. Yeah, the fox one's really hard. The fox one is really hard. It's easy with Falco. Yeah, it's pretty easy with Falco. Yeah. All right, nice. Kalindi never misses up the fox one, I think, but he's a robot also. Yeah, he is a robot. Ooh. Okay. There have been so many horrible pounds this game that yeah. none of them have worked. Yeah. But he's going to... As just going to hit one, I think, at the end of this game. Yeah. Really, yep. See, and he's confirmation biasing himself. What? Uh, why? I don't know. That was like the most random rest. That didn't make sense. Yeah, and as you're just fine with it. Like he doesn't, he's not reacting like he does something crazy and Fable isn't reacting at all, as always. So whatever. All right, here we go. Right back to Yoshi's. Back to Yoshi's that, that, story. That is literally so tough, though. You never, like, in SG, you never want to be. Has SG? Okay, I guess the only game he dropped was that one Satsak game. Yeah, Satsak the GOAT. Yeah. The true second place finisher, Satsak. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, dude just eats the crab. It's so funny just seeing somebody eat down Smash by crab. Yeah. Oh. What? Oh, that's so sad. Someone must punish SJ for these pounds. But I don't know if it'll be fable today. Oh, another one. Okay, that is. Oh man. Oh man. Wait. Oh, okay. Didn't maybe it was the fast there It kind of looked like. Seventy-eight percent. Hit on SCJ to not just immediately fall on top of Fable. Yeah, Fable did a good job S disengaging there too. Ooh, okay. okay. I don't know what bad DI looked like. That's it. Yeah, the dash tag into the corner. That's actually I think SCJ does a lot more than other pups is that. He'll set up situations where he reads a roll and then he'll dash tag you in the corner. Yeah, he will. Then he just calls out your dash back. Which is interesting because it's, it's a cool idea I like because a lot of us will like aerial you that in that spot, but dash tag is such higher knockback. Yeah, it is. And it sends it such a disgusting Yeah, angle. it does. Oh, great Nair to, to get out of that spot. That was looking like an up tilt rest. Oh, yeah, definitely just dead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. This is so tough, man. Oh, Puff might Puff might be better than Falcon, because Puff can also do the thing against Sheik, where edge guarding, you can, if Sheik lands on the stage and not on a platform, you can just sing. Yeah. And she's just stuck yeah. there. Yeah, it's so crazy. That's, oh, man. Honestly, that could have maybe been a rest. Yeah, maybe. Sneaking underneath. Yeah, Fable gets out again and playing pretty squirrely, but I don't feel able to turn around. Let's see. Ooh. Tuckin is just kind of <laughs> throwing himself at Fable. And yeah. The, the trades are enough that he's cracking up a percent, or he has a solid enough lead where this stock should go in his favor, but he's could definitely lose if he keeps playing this way. We'll see. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's 3 it. Oh, my 